I grew up in a society where people had been robbed of the ability to form their own opinions. And that is the nature of totalitarianism. When an entire society has been subjugated to such an extent that people can't think for themselves, people become extremely sensitive to signals. People lose the ability to plan for their own future. So they become very easy to control. A society that is in that state can be unpredictable because it can apparently change course very, very quickly. I don't know the definition of propaganda. I try not to use that word because some people will look at regular sort of journalism and call it propaganda because it, they don't agree with it. But we have to be really conscious of how we use language and how we react to lies. I think we have to be really protective of a shared reality. Language is only usable when we have a shared understanding of what words mean. And this is something that I've talked about a lot from really the very beginning of Trump, which is the way that he uses language and that the way his lies are different from sort of normal lies in the sense that he lies to assert power. So it's not like the kind of lie where I want you to believe what I'm saying. I want to convince you that like I didn't take your iPhone. It's that I'm holding your iPhone in my hand and I'm saying, I didn't take your iPhone. And what are you gonna do about the fact that I'm lying in your face if I have the power? So when he says that his inauguration was the biggest ever, even though we can see the pictures, that's a power play. And again, you know, the reason I've grown to recognize that is because Putin lies the exact same way. He lies to assert power. How dangerous is, is that kind of abuse of language? I think it's hugely dangerous. And my sense of how dangerous it is is based on my own experience of living and working in a country where language had been violated many times over. And I think one of the biggest threats of somebody like Trump is precisely that he's destroying language. He keeps using words either to mean their opposite or to mean nothing at all. And both of those things are really doing great damage to, to our language. So someone who has dealt with the consequences of both things, and you realize that as a writer, you find yourself almost unable to write because they've like taken all the words. It's like they've taken away the sky. People only have a shared reality as long as they share an understanding of words. And when that's gone, then everybody has their own piece of sky and you can, you can have no confidence in the fact that that sky is shared with your fellow citizen. And that destroys society.